circles of morning and wonder I take my place with the lord of the hills And the blue-eyed soldiers stand slightly discolored A neat little rose floating canvas fills Wow I can tell I haven't played that in a while. Um, welcome back to the Snooze Doctor's Man Cave. And today we're looking at one of my favorite sections of Thick as a Brick, Side 2. We're going to do the intro uh, to Side 2. Now I've covered some of this material in previous uh, tutorial, well, a previous tutorial where I showed you how to do the intro to Thick as a Brick, Side 1. And it's the same. The opening of this is the same as Side 1. So I would uh, refer you back to that. I also would refer you to the uh, link below in the description where I did the whole uh, side two and one combined uh, solo acoustic guitar arrangement. So that was a fun project. I got some of it wrong, but uh, we're going to correct some of that today. I'm going to break this into sections, and we're just going to do the initial section today, and then subsequent lessons I will uh, work further into the beginning of side two. Otherwise, it's just going to take too long, and I don't want to bore you for too long. All right, so it does start just like the opening of the record. So yeah, that, that part is covered in a previous tutorial, so I'll direct you back to that. So we do that opening just like we did in the intro of the song on side one. We do that twice, and then when we come up to the uh, upper part... So we do that twice, and once again, that's covered in my tutorial previously. the clear white circles. All right, so here's where we uh, go to the vocal. And this is very clever because he's doing almost what he's doing. He's doing the same picking pattern, but he's moved it up uh, higher on the strings. Um, and it's just, it's just so clever and so beautiful. You know, because on, on the initial part... you're doing that. Now we're still going to start on the A string and we're still playing a D chord except we're going to go up and we're going to after the A string we're going to play the G in the in the um, in the B string. And then we're going to fret that note on the D chord with our pinky. And now we're playing this A sus2. We pick that note on the D string and then we just really strum those middle three strings the D, G, and B so see how clever that is he's doing almost the same picking pattern but once again he's just moved it up uh, up higher on the strings. In the clear white circles of morning wonder, I take my place with the Lord of the hills. Now here we do come back down to, we come back down to the A, D, and G strings. Just playing like the opening of that phrase. Except we go to an A major chord. The clear white circles of morning wonder. I take my place with the Lord of the hills and the blue eyed soldiers stand slightly discolored. The neat little rose sporting canvas. Alright, 
here we're hammering on an A chord. I'm not sure if he's doing the whole chord or just doing that the first time. I suspect he's doing that, just raising his pinky, opening up the B and the G string of the A chord. I think he probably hammers on that first time. And then you're going to a D and a G. All right, and then when he comes back, the main guitar that he's singing to uh, just plays that straight the first time. I apologize, my light, uh, my additional uh, supplemental light just went off. So I think you'll still be able to see just a little darker. Sorry about that. But when he comes back to do it the second time, he really uses those slurred upstrokes. The reason that you hear it on both of those phrases is because he's overdubbed a second guitar, and the second guitar comes right into the... So the guitar in the right channel does those slurred up strokes on both of those phrases, but the guitar in the left channel just on the first one. Just plays it straight like that, and that's because I think it would be very difficult to get to the coming out of coming out of the vocal part. It would be just extremely difficult to hit that first one with an upstroke. So that's why he just plays it straight. The clear white circles, wonder. I take my place with the lord of the hills and the blue eyed soldier stands slightly discolored in neat little rows sporting canvas frills So he just comes back up here and does that phrase twice. Once again, I'll refer you to an earlier, earlier tutorial on the opening of Thick as a Brick where I show how to do that. With these jock straps pinching. And so it just goes into that second verse of that. The jock straps pinching, he slouches to attention While queuing for Sonny's at the office canteen Singing, how's your granny and good old Danny Coughed up a tenner on a premium bond win All right, so yeah, that's uh, all there is to that, uh, if that's not enough, right? And then he comes up to this A minor position up here, and he just he's just lifting his index finger. And then he does this G triad. I'm just playing all this on the upper three strings. And then I've just got it back fretted like the A minor chord. You're just doing the A minor chord, just adding that note. goes into that instrumental section which this will be the last part that I cover today um, this one is it's all instrumental and I can't really hear the acoustic guitar in there so I have no idea what he's doing on acoustic guitar during this section so Martin Barr on the electric guitar which kind of 
provides the main melody in this part. So that's what Martin uh, does on the electric guitar. So that really gives the punch of it in that ascending feel of the structure. So I'm going to show you kind of how I you know, sort of jury rig this part. But we're going to start on an A minor chord. And we're just going to play the bottom strings. Come down here, grab the E string. Okay, there I'm just playing a, a G with the third and a bass to a C chord. So then I come up and play the whole A minor chord and just lift off. Then I play that D and G. And then I come up here again. Kind of did what we did before, lifting off the finger. And then we're doing that same thing. And then I'm coming up to an A minor inversion way up here. Those notes. So that's just another A minor inversion. So this I do a very quick strum to mimic kind of what uh, Martin Barr is doing. So let me play that whole thing. And then I just finish on Martin's notes up there. So you can hear. So I'm just trying to kind of mimic uh, what's going on with the whole band there. <laughs> um, so all right, well that's the first part and I'm going to end there and we're going to go into Do You Believe in the Day next time which is one of the most gorgeous parts of the whole record in my opinion. Uh, so that's it, yeah. In the clear white circles of morning wonder I take my place with the Lord of the hills And the blue-eyed soldiers stand slightly discolored In neat little rows sporting canvas frills